Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. Today I am back with a brand new weekly grocery haul as well as a meal plan to stay on track of my healthy eating for the next week on my new weight loss journey. We hit the grocery store this morning. I have a full meal plan for the week worked out and I'm gonna share everything with you guys including WW points for grocery items and meals in today's video. So hopefully I can give you guys some ideas to add to your next grocery list or your next meal plan for the next week. So let's jump into this haul. Lots and lots of produce this week. Produce including fresh, canned, and frozen fruits and vegetables are zero points on the WW plan, unless I will note here otherwise. Um, so they are a great thing to have lots of in your fridge. They make for great snacks. The base for low point meals. So I have some fresh basil for fruit this week. I have a large three pound box of red grapes. Sorry, there was a sun glare there. Um, I have a package of raspberries. My little one, Nora, loves, loves, loves raspberries. I have one pound of fresh strawberries. These looked and smelled very sweet in the store. I grabbed, this bag is actually already open because we've already grabbed one out since being home, but I got some of our new favorite apples. These are sugar bee red apples um, is the type that they are they are so so sweet um, it's nice and fresh and crunchy a good texture so we love having these to snack on we dip them either with greek yogurt with a little cinnamon on them like a little yogurt dip sometimes some peanut butter in there the girls love this as a side too or as a snack i got two green bell peppers i have a seedless cucumber a fun little uh, snack plate I've done is you do little slices of seedless cucumber, a quarter teaspoon of some low fat cream cheese, and then top with a tiny bit of smoked salmon. And they're like the perfect little bite size snacks. They're super satisfying and really low point on the WW plan. Some celery, fresh and crunchy. I like to use this um, with hummus as a snack as well as these baby carrots or with my homemade zero point ranch dip, which I've mentioned numerous times here on the channel. It's just plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I didn't pick that up today, but it's cause I get it in giant tubs at Costco. I buy the Kirkland brand and it's zero points on the WW plan. To make the ranch dressing, you just add, here we go, a packet of ranch seasoning, or if you have like a larger bottle, I've used the Trader Joe's ranch seasoning for too, and you just add it um, to your taste, give it a mix. I just replace whatever your ranch seasoning packet says. It says to mix with one cup of buttermilk and one cup of mayo. So instead I mix it with two cups of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. And then I add just a touch of water or you can, if you like it a little zesty, add some lemon or lime juice for zero points just to thin it out to whatever consistency you want. I usually leave ours as more of a dip consistency. And then if I decide to use it for dressing on a salad, I'll just add a little bit more water before serving to get it a little bit more liquidy to spread further. One of my go-to vegetables to have in the house on WW is mushrooms. I know not everyone loves mushrooms. I'm a mushroom lover. They're so hearty and meaty and filling. I made a really yummy lunch last weekend that was mushrooms, onion, garlic, and some rotisserie chicken all kind of chopped up and I served it over some air fried roasted potatoes with some ranch seasoning and it was so yummy and tasty and only two points a bowl. We have all the lettuces today. I have some romaine lettuce, which we have on hand um, to do with sandwiches as a topping or to make salads out of. Baby spinach, usually I use this mostly when I'm making smoothies in the blender, which I have been doing with my protein shakes first thing in the morning as like a pre-breakfast or morning snack. I'll use a Premier Protein Shake, a frozen banana, a handful of spinach, and it's a great way just to get my protein and some good vitamins in first thing in the morning. The arugula I got for a specific salad I have in mind for the menu this week. I love arugula. It's like kind of peppery. So if I were to use it for just a salad though, I'd probably like mix it, like arugula and spinach as the base, but it's also really good on sandwiches or on wraps. Potatoes are not zero points, but they are a fairly low point carb that you you can include in your meals that are really filling and satisfying. My girls love potatoes just done, diced and in the air fryer for crispy roast potatoes. We also like to make our own fries out of them. Um, usually I do that with sweet potatoes, which I didn't buy any of this week, but I grabbed some of these. Um, I think I'm gonna be making mashed potatoes with one meal this week. I grabbed one of the Sara Lee Artisano bakery style breads. Usually I get the two pack at Costco, but I wasn't doing a Costco trip this week. So I just grabbed one more bread to balance this out until our next Costco run. This is mostly the girls will use this for their sandwiches, their PBJs, or when I make grilled cheese. 
but I did buy sandwich stuff for Josh and I this week too, so maybe we'll do sandwiches sometime. I have some of the HEB fresh made butter tortillas. I got some of these garden urban spinach wraps. These are great for making sandwich wraps. I have tried the lower carb version of these and they're not my favorite. They're a little cardboardy in my opinion. Let me know if you guys have found wraps that are lower in point that you really like. Otherwise, I do have certain brands of like low carb tortillas, the La Banderita ones I really love and they make a burrito size wrap which is really good but let me know if you guys have any other brands you prefer that I should try out in the comments but I grabbed these because we have lunch meat and stuff to make sandwich wraps this week for lunches Lila my almost six-year-old actually really loves these spinach wraps with hummus cheese lettuce and shredded carrot inside so a little like hummus veggie wrap situation. They're very good. We make them sometimes for all of us. Our dry goods. I did pick up some white cornmeal for a specific recipe we're trying out this week. I got some udon stir fry noodles. I'm gonna use these with some of those mushrooms as well as other veggies to do like a stir fry bowl. I picked up some more jasmine rice. This is mostly just to restock. I don't have a specific plan in mind, but I knew I was getting low on rice in the pantry. And that's a staple I always have. Um, I also had other kinds of pasta, but I didn't have any spaghetti. So I grabbed a package of thin spaghetti. The kids love when I make spaghetti and meatballs or meat sauce. So I'm sure that'll go on the plan maybe for the weekend. I also grabbed a bag of popcorn kernels. We have a steam popper and I just love it. It's so easy to use. You can make however much you need. We make multiple batches at a time. If like the family is doing popcorn in a movie, other than my tiny one, Nora, before anyone says anything, Nora can't have regular popcorn yet I know we also have some of the popcorn seasoning flavors that are zero points and actually another item I purchased was the spray I can't believe it's not butter this is something I like having on hand for toast but also when we do popcorn because I'll just spritz a couple sprays on my portion I can use salt or some of the flavor seasonings and make a really fun yummy snack that's low in point on WW. Last week when I went to Costco, I picked up a large container of cottage cheese. That's one of the things I like having on hand. Um, I'll eat it for breakfast with some pineapple. I got some pineapple chunks in juice. As long as you eat this drained and it's just the pineapple pieces, it counts as zero points. If you have pineapple that's in syrup, that's gonna carry points with it. So check your WW app. I got two cans of whole kernel corn just to kind of restock my pantry as well as two cans of petite diced tomatoes. I am going to use one of each of these when I make some turkey chili this week. That's a great large pot kind of dish. I'm trying to do at least one of those a week at the beginning of the week, either Sunday or Monday. So we have an easy go-to option for lunches and my rainbow turkey chili is one point a serving on the WW plan and that's depending on the percentage of turkey you pick up how much fat content there is so if you find like a 99% lean turkey it's kind of hard to find nowadays in my experience it could even be a zero point dish and then you have room to add toppings if you want like sour cream or for another zero point option plain non-fat greek yogurt is a great sour cream substitute and even some shredded cheese i picked up some solid white albacore tuna in water a great lean protein um, i'll make tuna salad or sometimes we'll use this in a pasta salad some salsa check your ingredient label but as long as there's no sugar added then typically salsa is a great zero point condiment of course, I have some things that are for the kids because I'm a mom. That's mom life. I can't just not have anything in the house that isn't necessarily WW friendly. I got to feed them too. So strawberry preserves for peanut butter jelly. I got some of these cheddar Lone Stars. They're basically like goldfish. They're just the HEB brand. I also grabbed some of these um, corn chips. We'll have those since again, that turkey chili I'm making is so low in point. You can have a serving of these on the side and balance your meal with some more points and have a delicious crunchy side. You can either dip or you can sprinkle some on top for a little crunch. One of my absolute favorite snacks. I've shared these so many times before, but they're the Snack Factory Pretzel Crisp Bites, the honey mustard flavor, my fave. I love having these with like a crispy Diet Coke as like an afternoon snack or like while we're watching TV or a movie. It's just like a great little savory 
crunch crunch. Some applesauce pouches, which are already open because my kids needed to snag one the second we got home. I actually picked up the other day, but Lila and I are gonna get started on them today. These are cacao pods. Um, Lila and I picked them up over the weekend. If you've never seen a cacao pod before, this is where chocolate comes from. And inside, if you see on the label, it um, almost looks like a corn cob, but all of the little cacao beans are inside of there. And there's a whole process where you have to like ferment them and roast them, grind them, do your sugar add-ins or whatever else. And then eventually <laughs> they become chocolate. This I picked up because it's more of an activity for me to do with my older daughter. We're doing a little science experiment on making chocolate. So anyway, those are hanging out here because her and I are doing those later today. Some great zero point beverage options. I in the past was such a soda drinker that one of the things that helped me most when I restart on WW is having some flavored drink options that are zero points as I wean myself back onto drinking plain water more often. Raspberry lemonade by Crystal Light, super tasty. I love an orange herbal tea. This one is turmeric orange. I haven't tried this brand before, but we're gonna give it a roll. I love having tea at night too, just to sip on while me and Josh are on the couch watching a show together. Having a warm beverage sometimes help with that food noise that's in the back of my head saying, you're sitting watching TV, you need a snack. Instead, sometimes just sipping on something warm helps quiet that, because like I have something with a flavor. I'm actively sipping on it. So warm tea at night is like a great tool for me to help with that craving snacking in the evening. Um, I also grabbed one of these, a watermelon and mint cold brew tea. This looks really interesting. So it brews in cold water. Um, I thought this would be kind of like a tasty little thing to try out. So I'll let you guys know. These are two new items for me. String cheese, my girls love string cheese as like a side with lunch. Um, the lunch deli kind of stuff. I got some oven roasted turkey, Kobe Jack cheese, some hummus. We love to dip our veggies in this as snacks. I also love putting a dollop of hummus on those veggie wraps if we do those quesadilla cheese because for my girls quesadilla is our life and we've been trucking through eggs i eat these a lot as breakfast and then children i have whole milk for nora and some two percent milk for lila when she wants cereal or hot chocolate or just milk to drink and here is the meats i picked up this week i have some 97 percent fat free ground white turkey this i'm going to use in that turkey chili and then i also picked up some skirt steak and I do still have some things like the plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I have lean chicken breast as well as some lean ground beef all in my freezer from our Costco stock up. So a lot of those kinds of staples, I have oats. I just restocked some rice. Our other baking supplies in case I decide to make some homemade bread or biscuits or something that we have still on hand from our previous haul. But that's what I got this week. Here is my full meal plan for the week. I mentioned a lot of them as I was talking through the groceries, but normally how I like to meal plan is to pick out like two or three options for breakfasts and lunches. And then I can kind of pick and choose day to day what fits with my meal plan for dinner that night of those options and kind of build my custom day that way. For dinners, I do try to go ahead and plan out four or five meals that I'm going to cook. And then that leaves a day or two for leftovers or for having like a crazy day at home to do a takeout meal. Monday night, we have turkey chili on the menu. Tuesday, we're trying something new and I'm making homemade pupusas with corn and salsa. This is a recipe Lila and I found on TikTok. We mix white masa or cornmeal with water. It becomes a dough that gets stuffed with quesadilla cheese and black beans, and then we pan fry it. So kind of like a stuffed quesadilla, but it has a more bready texture. But we're serving it with some zero point roasted corn as well as salsa for toppings. Wednesday night, Josh and I are gonna have sliced skirt steak, mushrooms, and some homemade mashed potatoes on the side. Thursday is that leftover night. Friday, we're doing the udon noodle veggie stir fry. I'm gonna use some teriyaki sauce, which is fairly low in point. Two tablespoons is only one point on the WW plan. Four points for the serving of noodles and then a bunch of sauteed veggies will all be zero points. Saturday, I'm saving for either a takeout meal because I think we're gonna be running around doing some things over the weekend as a family. If not, and we decide just to head home because we've been busy, we'll pull something from the freezer. I always have things like chicken nuggets and tater tots and frozen sweet potato french fries just to throw together a quick dinner that the whole family will eat. A lot of times if we're doing something like that with the kids, I'll use the chicken nuggets, make some up for the whole family, but I'll put mine either into a wrap 
or I'll make a salad with mine. And then Sunday we'll have spaghetti with meatballs. Here where I'm gonna make sure to try and save on some points is I'll make my own zero point marinara sauce with plain canned tomato sauce that's zero points. Add in all of my own seasonings for zero points. Make sure to skip out the sugar. And then you have an easy zero point marinara to add with your homemade meatballs and pasta. So that's my plan heading into week two on WW. Let me know what you guys are picking up as your staples to get you through these first few weeks back on plan in the new year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe in case you haven't yet. And until next time, bye.